some major issues in Columbia, South Carolina, Shane Beamer's got to deal with. And these are issues that are going to keep that team, in my personal opinion, from being able to take that next step uh, in SEC play. What up, gang of line? Carolina jackpot time coming at you. It is Tuesday afternoon. It also means that it's May the 16th, 2023. It's about 7 p.m. And um, a little pissed off and a little bit perturbed today. Uh, as you know, South Carolina has been in the market for a transfer portal running back. And uh, they entertained uh, Logan Diggs, the transfer from Notre Dame, and Demo, Demo Kamasutra from NC State over the past uh, two weeks or so. And uh, Gamecocks whiff on both these players. Uh, both of them announced their uh, new schools today. Logan Diggs will be transferring to LSU, and uh, Kamasutra will be transferring to Kentucky. Am I so upset that uh, the Gamecocks didn't land these players? Yes and no. You have a need for uh, a running back. Uh, you know, South Carolina down a transfer or, or scholarship running back after uh, the departure of uh, Marshawn Lloyd, once known to me as the best back in the state when he was healthy, to uh, the USC junior out on the West Coast back at the, uh, well, at the end of the season uh, in December. And... Um, then uh, LaVisa Carroll, a uh, kid who uh, was at South Carolina, committed, and he trained. He could decommitted, he went to Georgia, left there, transferred, came back to South Carolina, uh, forced to quit football due to medical reasons. So you're, you're down some players over there on that side of, uh, of the ball, or at that position, rather. And um, well, you landed a transfer portal kid in Division II's uh, Mario Anderson Jr. from Newberry College. Uh, guys led Division II in rushing in the past two years. I mean, really thought he would be special. Don't know that he's not going to be special, but apparently, you know, either the coaching staff has seen some issues or they have seen some reason why uh, they need to continue to pursue other candidates as well. Uh, that There's depth issues there also. You've got the five foot eight, 170 pound Juju McDowell, who's been with the program. This is his third year now. Uh, good player, uh, really could be utilized better. I feel like if he were in space more, uh, not an every down SEC type back, but he's just not built for that kind of uh, that kind of abuse, uh, that kind of punishment. And uh, then you have uh, Decarion Joiner, the former quarterback, former wide receiver. Now they've turned him into. A running back and he performed okay in the spring game he ran hard uh, I liked what I saw from him but I, I don't know that that's necessarily the answer either what I'm getting at here is yes it's disappointing that these two guys didn't come to South Carolina the question is why um, we know that Logan Diggs is from the state of Louisiana uh, he you know, played for Brian Kelly at Notre Dame. I guess he was recruited there by him as well. But, uh, you know, if he'd wanted to go to LSU with Brian Kelly, he could have done it when Brian Kelly got hired at LSU. Uh, so I I don't know. And then um, with with Kama Sutra, he's from NC State, uh, Kentucky's uh, new quarterback that they got out of the transfer portal, Devin Leary's from NC State. There's a connection there right off the bat. Maybe they're, Maybe they was homeboys, you know. And they wanted to play with each other. <laughs> they wanted to play on the same team together. Uh, they wanted to, you know, to, to learn from each other. Not the way that sounded. I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I try to be too funny and make funny as I had me to. <laughs> you know, I, I have no problem with one kid going to LSU. He's from Louisiana. Um, I think that he could have made a bigger impact in South Carolina. I think that uh, LSU is stuck behind. Alabama in the SEC West. Now, they weren't last year, I know, but I think that this year they're going to be, and I think some of those teams are in for rude awakening. Now, I know you could say South Carolina is stuck behind Georgia. And maybe some might say they're stuck behind Tennessee, which literally makes no sense since we beat them by 25 points last year. Uh, but South Carolina is the fun up-and-coming program. I feel like LSU is just... I mean, they are what they are. They're going to win about nine, ten games a season, and they're really not going to go any further than that. 
Um, you know, the LSU people that listen to these videos, which there may be like one uh, out of every 200, you know, probably don't like that. That's fine. I mean, I, I don't really have any problems with LSU. I mean, I did have a conversation with one of their fans just a few weeks ago. He had uh, crayfish on his breath and incest on his mind. I could tell uh, from his eyes. Uh, and the other kid, I don't have a problem with that either, but this coach that South Carolina has, coaching running backs, this Monterio Hardesty, this guy from uh, Tennessee, he was a Tennessee Vol, and he played for the Cleveland Browns. I, I don't know that, that this guy might not be your issue. Let, let's just look over the past two seasons. This guy's been at South Carolina for two years. All right? um, in 2021, you averaged 3.9 yards per carry. In 2022, South Carolina averaged also 3.9 yards per carry. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not good. That is not good. That's next to the bottom uh, of the SEC. I don't know how that ranks nationally. It's in the 100 somewhere. I didn't look up and go that far into depth with the research, uh, but I'm sure that there are plenty of you guys out there who with Google machines that could tell me. Uh, it's not good. And there's gotta be a reason why Marshawn Lloyd left South Carolina. He was often injured, yes, I understand this, but he was a Gamecock, and it, there was no inkling of anything to make you think he would leave. Everybody says, we well, went to, to, to USC to get the bag. He went to get the bag. Look, yes, people are spending a lot of money on this NIL shit right now, but you can't make me think that there's someone uh, at USC, some rich donor, that's going to throw the bag at Marshawn Lloyd, a guy who's been beaten, bruised, injured his entire career. I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense. That would be like the Toronto Blue Jays uh, throwing a 10-year contract at some utility third baseman who's 30 years old, ain't never batted more than 235 his entire career, and has spent most of it on uh, the injured list. That's about how much sense that makes. I, I just don't believe that. I think these guys don't want to play for this guy. Um, and I'm just looking at his resume here. You know, it don't scream running back coach. And I understand that Shane Beamer is a first-time head coach, and he kind of had to throw a staff together with what he could. He says he handpicked his staff with all, you know, with all the like he went into like he went into the garden somewhere and just picked the freshest fruits and vegetables he could. That's not what you did, sir. That's not what you did. You you got your friends and you got people that um, you thought would be good. But Ontario Hardesty's resume after he got the NFL reads like this: 2015 and 16 uh, at Norfolk State, he was the running backs coach there, and he was also the strength and conditioning coach. I don't know how that all works out together. Um, but that is FCS school, so, you know, limited budget. 2017, he was at Florida Atlantic. He was the assistant strength and conditioning coach for the Owls. 2018, he was at Tennessee, his alma mater, uh, QC. I suppose that's quality control. <laughs> well, we'll see how that turned out. Uh, 2019 and through 2020, he was the wide receiver coach at Charlotte. Where's all the vast running back coach experience? I know, yes, you're not gonna get the creme de la creme of coaches as a first time head coach. But I mean, zero power five or zero um, FBS uh, experience as a running back coach or as an assistant running back coach. Or I mean, you were a wide receiver coach at your last stop. I'm, so uh, I, there's an issue somewhere. There's an issue why Yo, know, the up and coming program with the cool head coach who's got like the number eight recruiting class right now and building on that and looking to add even more and, and looking to add even more. And Clemson fans, you, I, I've stayed off of you guys for a while, but I'm going to tell you what, you sit here and bump your gums to me about wait until, wait until uh, next January or, or December. Let me see what the what it look, number look like then. But, 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 Okay, well, we'll wait and see what the numbers look like then. They, 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 they want to sit here and tell me that the, 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 there's no one good in the state of South Carolina to recruit. That's why South Carolina's been winning uh, on the recruiting trail in the state of South Carolina because none of these players are any good. Uh, excuse me? No. Uh, the um, kid from, uh, from uh, uh, 
the, the Cam Pringle kid uh, was offered by Clemson. Uh, the uh, the other kid, the Josiah Thompson kid, the kid from Dillon, South Carolina. Guess what? Uh, offered by Clemson. Blake Franks, kid that came from uh, Greenville High, offered by Clemson. I mean, I mean, you 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 sit here and tell me all this shit. Yet in black and white over on twenty four seven Sports, it shows where Clemson offered these people. Oh, we backed off of them. You don't know. You don't know that, and it's not true. Uh, but there's got to be a reason why the up and coming head coach, the up and coming program, with the really good recruiting class and this really good momentum, cannot get these transfer portal guys out uh, to play running back. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. There has to be something that swayed these people's decisions one way or the other, and then the. The, the departure of Marshawn Lloyd, who's been a Gamecock ever since he's been uh, in college, the, to me at all, and the shitty stats, uh, the, the, you know, I, granted we've had a bad offensive line, granted we've had a bad offensive line, but bro, uh, in 2021, you coached Kevin Harris, who rushed for a thousand yards the year before with virtually the same offensive line, and he put up paltry numbers in 2021. His draft stock plummeted. I mean, he he was like a I don't remember where he was drafted by the Patriots, but it, it, it really doesn't matter. He was uh, he was on the trajectory to have uh, you know a really nice career there, and just kind of bottomed out in 2021. Uh, he was hurt a little bit, but I mean, it, it, it's it's all pointing at you, sir. It's pointing at you. And uh, Shane Beamer, you know, it, it may be time right now to uh, fish or cut bait. Uh, what are you going to do, buddy? Uh, it, it's up to you. Uh, we can't uh, have no running game, though. You know, Spencer Rattler can throw the ball all around the park, and then you can, next year you can get um, well, Lenore Sellers or whoever your quarterback is can throw the ball all over the park. You know, he can run around a little bit, but you don't have a solid running game. To keep him honest, we're never going to get very far, and... I, just from what I've seen, this uh, former Vol ain't it, buddy. Just not it. But this is just one man's opinion. Feel free to chime in below and uh, tell me how dumb I am or, you know, if you agree with me, you can tell me that too. But please uh, make sure you hit this video with a thumbs up if you did like it. And um, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section below. The last few videos have done pretty good as far as views and trajectory. We need to continue uh, to uh, keep the momentum going. Need to keep rolling. Okay, and check me out on the other socials. Check out my other YouTube channel, Rockabelly 864 Once again, I promise I'm gonna start doing food reviews over there again really soon. Um, you can check me out at Twitter over at Hall underscore Kale, and also at Carolina Jackpot over on TikTok. You don't stop, girl. You make me feel so good. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. Go Coach Beamer. Go Gamecocks. Go Spencer Rattler. And uh, go find somebody. I, 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 woo.